I made this tumbler using nothing but white water slides. Um, okay, I used a little bit of vinyl, but mostly white water slides. So if you wanna perfect your water slide method so that you can make beautiful tumblers without having to use sticker paper, cause sticker paper is thick like me, honey. Anyway, um, keep watching because I am gonna teach you. Let's make a water slide cup together. Now I am gonna tell you how I use water slides, how I make them. Um, everybody has different methods. This is what has worked best for me and my friends that have had issues when I have told them you know, what I use, it's helped them. So hopefully this will help you if you struggle with water slides. I use Photoshop to put together my collages. You don't have to use Photoshop. It's just a program that I have from back when I was a photographer. So I, I use it because I already have it but you can use Cricut Design Space, you can use the Design Space in Silhouette, you can use Canva.com, uh, you can use Word Document, anything like that you can use. And um, you know, your images, you know, whether you're gonna purchase them from Etsy or you're gonna, you know, search to see what you can find on Pinterest, obviously be cautious always of copyright images and taking anything that you're not supposed to be taking. Um, you need to check into your printer because every printer is different, but I have mine to print on photo settings and I have it to highest quality. So every printer is different. You need to find out what those settings would be for yours. The sealer is so important. And yes, there's a million sealers you can use, but this is the only one I personally can recommend. I've been using it for almost two years and my water slides I very rarely have issues with them ripping or cracking or any of that stuff. And I'm telling you, it's the sealer. It's, it's Krylon clear, crystal clear glaze um, gloss. It's the best. So as you can see here, I kind of take, I, I go evenly and I spray from side to side. And then I do the opposite direction just to make sure that I'm covering every single inch of that. I always do three coats. I let each coat dry 20 minutes before I go in with the next coat and the final third coat, I let it dry for about an hour. So you wanna make sure that that final coat is super dry. If you do not give your water slide enough time to dry, it's gonna be elasticy and it's gonna stretch and distort the image when you try to get it on your tumbler. It's not worth rushing it. So just let it properly dry. Another tip that a lot of people have told me that they didn't know or they didn't do it before is warm water. I don't know why, but warm water works way better than room temperature or cold water. Um, so I highly, highly, highly recommend using warm water. And what you wanna do is you wanna submerge your image completely underwater for about two minutes or until it starts coming off of the backing. So here you can see that I'm kind of wiggling it around with my fingers and the image is starting to slide off of the backing. That's when you know it's ready. And I always get my tumbler super duper wet um, to help it glide the water slide on there. And if you sealed your water slide properly, you should not have any issues picking it up the way I am and maneuvering it around. I like to place it flat on the tumbler and I like to make sure that it's lined up and straight. And then as you can see, the backing is sliding out of there pretty easily. And as I'm pulling the backing, I'm just making sure that my images aren't distorting, that it's staying straight. Um, and then um, you can use a, a little silicone brush or you can use your hands if you're careful. Like I said, it's all about how you seal your water slides. So if you did a good job sealing it, it can sustain you rubbing it with your finger, rubbing it with a paper towel, um, but it helps to get your hands wet and to keep that water slide wet. Until you're ready to dry it and have it stay put, keep it wet so that it doesn't rip or tear or any of that stuff. Um, like you see me doing here, I'm taking lots of water and pouring it over and just kind of working out any, any water bubbles that are behind the image with my hands, making sure that it's super duper, you know, straight, that my image is good. Because guys, once you remove all of the water that's behind the water slide and once you dry it, it is sticking. 
like you're not gonna be able to move it again so make sure that before you get all that water squeegeed out of there that you like the position of it and then over at the top very gently i kind of just push it over now even like water slides of course are more fragile than if you were using vinyl right so you still want to be careful around the edges when you're doing what, what i'm doing here as you can see here i like took my time and used my finger to kind of you know fold it over once i knew i was happy with the placement i took a paper towel and i dried the water slide as you can see i'm literally rubbing my water slide with the napkin of course i'm not applying a lot of pressure but i am able to rub it and get it dry and it's not going to rip it's not going to tear it's not going to scratch i'm telling you this sealer game changer highly highly recommend it so once i dried my water slide and i know that it's not going to budge i take my exacto knife and i very carefully remove the excess at the top now you don't have to make it go all the way to the top and to the bottom i like it i wanted it to be that way so that's why i made it extra long um, but you don't have to so i did um seal th th that with one coat of epoxy before i went over to add my water slides on the other side you don't have to you can technically add water slides on the other side and you'll be fine but there is always a chance that you could rub it too hard against the desk and it'll rip so just to secure the water slide on the other side i did apply one coat of epoxy and then once that was dry i came in with my second one i use my measuring tape for everything anytime i want to center something i always use it for the most part i guess i eyeball things i've just always been that way but like i said um if you guys are you know like to have more exact measurements you guys can um you know use whatever method you normally use um i measured it with my measuring tape and i was pretty confident that the that the image was centered and it is <laughs> okay sorry um so i'm doing the same thing you guys i'm following the same exact um, method i'm applying it um adding some water to the tumbler moving my image over i used my fingers to squeegee out any water and then once i was happy with the placement i used a paper towel to lock it in place um then after that i have two more water slides that i want to add i don't know what this pattern is called what is this like western leather or something like that i'm not really sure but i will provide the svg um, where i purchased it on etsy and um this is something that is you see a lot in mexico um it's like um the local people who who hand make purses and stuff like that you see this kind of leather over there a lot so i just i knew that it was perfect for the vibe of this design um anyway i cut those into about mm, just under two inches and i know that they weren't exactly even but I didn't mind that it was a tiny bit off because I went over with vinyl strips and I knew that that was gonna even out even if it was off by a tiny little bit. So after I secured those water slides, um, I, <clears throat> I took some vinyl and it's kind of like a sunset ombre and I placed, um, I believe it was just over two inches at the top and at the bottom because that was gonna be my little sunset scene for my horses. Now, you guys can do whatever design you want on your tumbler, but this is, this is our idol in Mexico. He is loved and adored, and unfortunately, he passed away um, this year, and it is something that we have mourned so much, and I just really wanted to honor him. This also is my dad's idol. I mean, I grew up listening to him in my house, and um, his passion was horses, um, he has a ranch, it's called um, Los Tres Potrillos in honor of his kids. So I just really wanted to make this very him, you know, and we call him the king because he is the king. So anyway, um, here you see me um, adding my epoxy. I typically for typically for 32 ounce plumps, I always go in with 20 mLs of part A and 20 mLs of part B to get nice and thick coats in there. Um, once my epoxy had dried and cured over all of those water slides and all of those decals, I placed my El Rey, which is the king uh, decal, over his collage. I knew that I wanted it in there to kind of break up some of the images. And you can make your image as big or as little as you want. You could make your idol, you know? Um, whatever you want. It doesn't even have to be a, a celebrity. It could be 
truly anything you want. It could even be like a rainbow theme with different rainbow images. I mean, really you could make it your own. Um, and so what I did was I took washi tape, holographic washi tape, and I used that to divide the sections like I mentioned before. And I really like how that gave the cup structure and it hid any little imperfections. And of course I took another different washi tape and layered it on top of that sealed it with 40 mls of epoxy which was a very thick coat let it dry and we were good to go hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you again on monday